Hello, welcome back to Armchair Armory, and it uh, it finished uh, 35 minutes ago because I had to pop out before I did this reaction. It finished at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, Tottenham Hotspur nil, Arsenal one, and uh, yeah, three wins in a row for Arteta at Spurs. Spurs that Spurs away. However, this wasn't the most glamorous performance. This wasn't as kind of uh, end to end and as um, mental as as the away fixture last season. This was very subdued. Possession wise, it was probably a fifty fifty game. There is also an argument. I was saying, I was saying to myself during the during the game, I was thinking, you know, Spurs have probably had the better chances up, up until now. They've probably been possession wise slightly the better team, and they will probably feel a lot more hard, hard done by with this result than maybe we would. But it just goes to show how much our defense our defensive work has has come a, come along leaps and bounds you know since Arteta first came in um that we've managed to you know essentially kind of nick a win it was a very good defensive performance i think the fact that Erdegaard wasn't playing did have an impact because we completely lost our creativity um Trossard went into midfield uh, alongside um uh, as as a number ten, I think he was sat just behind the um, just behind the three, just behind the the front three of Martinelli, Havertz, and Saka. I thought Sa- I thought um, Havertz was going to go into midfield and Trossard would play in that position. So it's basically the same lineup, but with those roles swapped. Um, what else can I say? You know, Spurs had a few good chances. Um, Raya, Raya and the defense were really good today. I felt. Um, I think um, it was very important that we won this game. I wasn't really normally. I'm very diplomatic about how I go how I go about these things, but I think this game was that important that we needed a win. You know, after the the draw against Brighton, I think we definitely needed to get three points out of this going into the City game, and we've we've managed to do that. It's another sort of, as I say, a dogged a, a dogged win to get us over the line. Header from Gabriel another set piece I think speaking of set pieces because Rice takes the corners I think that was another thing we missed as well because I think Jorginho and Partey Partey didn't have a great game today Jorginho didn't have a great game today especially Jorginho like Jorginho was kind of poor today he was couldn't win the ball very often Um, every time he had the ball ball, he lost it Um, kept falling down as soon as any Spurs players touched him thinking he was going to get a foul yeah um i think i think he you know i I think him and Partey did just enough to keep us keep us uh in the game but i don't necessarily think that we won the midfield battle i think they were cutting through our midfield quite easily and i think if rice was there if rice and erdegaard were there it might have been slightly different maybe not the same result but it might have been slightly different um Obviously, with Rice, it's it's just a it's just a suspension, so he'll be back for City, and he'll obviously play on Thursday in uh, Bergamo. Um, so, yeah, but it, it definitely showed today. Um, I say one thing that caught my eye: I I, I liked what I saw of Ethan Nwanyeri today. Um, yeah, I thought he looked pretty good. He came on for Saka just before the end of the game, so he was on for about five to seven minutes something like that but I thought he played really well I thought he well of of what I saw I thought he did well Um, saw Sterling for the first time today came on for Martinelli Um, looked all right I suppose but lost the ball really easily which wasn't wasn't good I think that was a theme of today that we we couldn't keep the ball ball when we were when we were attacking which is uh, which is a shame because if obviously if we do that against City next Sunday that's you know that's that's the that's basically the game gone um, because they tend to pounce on that sort of stuff so yeah um, I haven't actually looked at the Premier League table um, I, I was I was out yesterday so I didn't actually follow most of the games most of the games so we're sitting in second at the moment so that's pretty good um, and we go into the game probably alongside Manchester City in the top two so I think in that sense we've 
it, it was even more important that we won this game today. Even more important. Yeah, so Sunday is the next time we play. Liverpool play Bournemouth on Saturday at Anfield. And uh, Brighton also play on the Sunday as well. I think Brighton are still, as far as I know, Brighton are still in the top four. At this oh, no, they're not. So it's Villa now in the top four. Um, so, yeah, all in all, a good good win. Um, I'm happy that we beat Spurs again in their backyard. London is red, or North London is red, I should say. Um, you know, for the last four times we've played them, I think we've won. So, yeah, uh, I'm pretty pleased. So, we'll take it and move on. And then it's the big one on Sunday. I think, I think equally, well, not equally, but I think the Champions League game against Atalanta is is a big one because it's the first game in the Champions League in this new league phase, this new format. And we have to, I think, I personally think we have to get off to a good start there as well because, you know, every point counts at this stage. And then obviously Sunday, it's the big one. <sighs> Very early in the season to be playing Manchester City at the Etihad. And I'll probably say this when I actually preview the game, but I do think we need to win that. I do think for the psychological edge, I do think we need to win to 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 get take three points off of Man City this time. Whether we will or not is another story. But still, we've uh, we've beaten Spurs. We've come back after the the international break after the whole sort of like draw into Brighton, the Rice controversy, the injuries, the injury news that was surrounding us, and all that sort of stuff. No Erdegaard, no Rice, no Marino, and we still won. And <laughs> Just, just for a bit of banter, this was probably the best I've seen because uh, I've watched Spurs quite a bit in the last few games over this season and last season. Particularly this season, I've watched Spurs a little bit. And uh, this is the best they've played and they still lost. <laughs> um, no, I, I shouldn't really joke. I'm not one of those guys that likes to do that. Like, you know, I wouldn't be saying this if we'd lost right now, but yeah. But it's true. Anyway, um, I'm going to leave it there. I will be back again on either Tuesday or Wednesday for the preview of Atalanta. And I might do something different this time. So look out for that. Um, like and subscribe as always. I will see you again. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Take care and stay safe.